and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about how cold is too cold to ride an e-bike like at what temperature do you say uh, -uh I'm not going and does it depend on the wind and the reason what has me coming up with this topic to talk about today is this morning now I ride my e-bike to and from work each day and this morning when I left just shortly after five in the morning for work the temperature was sitting at 23 degrees and then with the wind it felt like 15 so but of course that didn't stop me from riding the bike the skies are clear right now the roads are dry so um i didn't mind it i mean the only thing that bothered me would be the wind if there was no wind it wouldn't have bothered me even at all even even so but even even that it didn't really bother me as long as you dress warmly enough and uh So that made me think, well, we're kind of lucky here where I am in Oregon, where we don't get that kind of weather very often. And it made me think, gee, what do other people do? Like uh, if you're in Minneapolis, for example, or uh, uh, Chicago, you know, uh, places like that. I mean, you know, what do you do? Uh, like where do you draw the line i mean a lot of us now it's winter right no, uh, no matter where you're at it's winter but most of us now we're probably dealing with you know, winter conditions whereas we're here in oregon we're kind of lucky where we kind of have that in between we're not real cold and we're not snowy you know and that kind of thing but uh so we're kind of lucky so th this was a little bit on the extreme side for us to be that cold this morning you know to have a temperature of uh, 23 and a wind chill of uh, 15 so that for for those of you who are, who are in uh, metric uh, system that would be minus 5 celsius and with the wind chill minus 10 that was our uh, temperature this morning but right now it's warmed up it's a pleasant uh, 41 degrees and uh, the wind is 34 so that would be like 5 Celsius and 1 uh, Celsius with the wind I don't mind this at all you know with the Sun shining I think what makes it not so good is if you have precipitation uh, uh, coming down or or bad roads you know conditions I think the road conditions are more would be a more concern for me than the uh, temperature and I don't know what my threshold is for uh, temperature I don't know where I would uh, draw the line I think more te than temperature for me would be the wind if I've got a temperature of 23 like this morning let's say but the wind chill made it feel like below zero that might make me uh that might make me pause i don't know and the other thing is can the bike handle it i don't know what these uh bikes can do to be honest i don't know what the how, how what's the uh maximum cold these bike uh, batteries will uh be okay for or motor you know uh, um are we okay to ride in uh sub-zero I don't know um, but anyway um, interesting uh, interesting topic though you know like so for you for example wherever you are I know if you're in California or Florida or Arizona or something or Texas you're probably laughing saying uh, it's not a problem here um, but uh, let me know no, uh, where you're at and uh, where do you draw the line is it the is it the uh got to get below uh zero or like just what would you have ridden like me today 
um, in uh, 23 degrees wind making it feel like 15 or is that a bit much and it may also uh, another factor in this may be uh, how far you're riding right if you're riding I think if you're riding more than 30 minutes that might be a little bit much uh, for riding but uh if you're only riding 10 minutes or 15 minutes or up to a half an hour maybe even you might be fine you're right um and we're all different we all have different thresholds just like pain and anything else right we some of us can withstand more than others and uh for me days like today right now this is beautiful like i the sun shining uh there's a little bit of a breeze not much i know you notice it more uh when it's colder and also you generate a little bit of breeze by riding too but uh i don't mind this at all i kind of like this uh you know it's not it's not unbearable or anything it's it's to me it's almost pleasant you know you might want it just a little bit warmer but um geez i think i could ride for an hour you know like this in this kind of condition um but yeah let me know in the comments below uh where you're uh, at and uh what do you do uh, in the winter uh these uh if it gets extremely cold where you are like uh, is there a threshold for you or do you say uh, i draw the line there you know at whatever temperature or is it more on the conditions because i'm sure lots of places in the winter don't have like i have down here you know the pavement uh perfectly dry and, and and not a problem at all um just to give you an idea of what it's like here in oregon at least in this part of oregon and i'm just uh about 12 miles uh, south of uh, portland so i'm in the portland metro area they call this and uh basically grass grass gets uh, uh cut year round i mean they mow their lawns year round here as you can see right there it's uh they've just had theirs cut recently that's just uh in the uh where we live here it's that way but i'm sure uh, like i say people in chicago i'm sure their ground is uh frozen solid and uh for those of you who are in the dead of winter right now and can't get your bikes out uh to ride quite yet you've probably had lots of time to shine it up and and uh dream of those days in the spring well i can tell you spring isn't far away uh baseball training camps uh, patch, uh, pitchers and catchers report in less than two weeks so it's not that far away i always uh when i know baseball season starting up uh, and training camps are opening then I know spring is just around the corner so hang in there for those of you that are in uh, definite uh, winter uh, areas hang in there because uh, spring is going to be here and you'll get to do your riding just like the rest of us so thank you for joining me on this video talking about cold uh, um, conditions for riding and whether you can uh, withstand it or your bike and the batteries can and uh, if, if you have a comment uh, on this you can leave a comment in the comments below and if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button and if you uh, would like to subscribe go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified so once again thank you for joining me on this video and i look forward to seeing you on the next video so until then take care